All right, we're bringing it back with this Holly problem. All right, lapse update. I spoke to Holly. Uh, they wanted the sniper back, but it was gonna take four to six weeks. So they told me to contact, uh, like everything was purchased from Summit. So a big shout out to Holly and Summit. The new one's in. See the new one's in. So they just want me to replace the head unit with the screen because I guess they go together and send that head unit with the screen. I have to remove all this shit again, but the screen and the head unit ship it back with the kit to Summit and Summit is going to send it to Holly. But Holly spoke to no, no Summit spoke to Holly and they, you know. They agreed to it because uh, they we needed it right away because this car is cost, costing me money because it's already behind schedule. But they gon that's the only way they stop the delay from me sending this one back. They working on it and they sending it back. It was a four to eight, four to eight week wait for me to get, receive this one back. So the fastest way was to reorder it send this one back and they're going to refund the customer his money on this one but they know the situation they know that it's bad so hot someone's going to send it back to holly holly going to re replace it but they waste their time not mine so right now before we take it off we're going to show you what it's actually doing and then i hope when we put that one on it fixed the situation if not it's gonna be that fucking dizzy in the the CDI box. Remember, this coil is brand new. If it doesn't fix the situation, go ahead and start that motherfucker up. That's it. It starts up and it dies. Starts up and it dies. It doesn't stay idling. It back then it stayed idling. Now it doesn't do it. Give me the screen. Monitors. Don't reset until I turn it on. Huh? It's gonna reset the whole screen until I turn it on. Yeah, but it starts up on the gauges. Okay, go ahead. Hold on, let me try to get you a new better review of this one. Okay. Let's see, they was talking about if the, the, the RPM signal, if it skips a beat. It does not skip a beat. It stays reading until it shuts off, and then it says stall. All the sensors are reading. The other thing is this uh, light on this thing. You see? Cycle it. No, cycle it, cycle it, cycle it. Okay, it's orange. Go ahead and turn it on. red so that cdi box still doing the same thing with the brand new coil it's going from orange green to red all right take the fuel relay off and kill all the gas inside that uh throttle body so right now he's just gonna run it until he kills all the gas out, out of it so it's less the spillage One more time. Do it like two, three times. All right. So I'll bring it back. We're just going to take off the head unit. I'm not going to take off the screen right now because I have to take all this shit off. But we're going to run the screen from here to there. 
just over it, but I'm just gonna change the head unit. All right, we're bringing it back in. Old, old sniper. New sniper on the floor. New sniper in there. I just had to change the, the fucking throttle cable connectors, the fittings, and check, take, take off the, the fucking regulator and put the new the regulator back on that one so that one's going back to summit but i'm gonna do everything on screen step by step so everything is brand not brand new but yeah the sniper is brand new so we got to go to wizard uh, let me see where i can see and i can see too okay Eight cylinders. Displacement is a 383. Save. Next. 850. 850. Next. It's a race cam. None. Hyperspark distributor. Next. Thirties. Six. It's gonna put a little bass tune on it. Go, hold on. Go ahead and cycle the shit all the way off. All the way on. And there go the fuel. Stop. Hold on. We go to monitors. Is it sensors? Nope. Monitors idle. Nope. All gauges. Nope. Home. Monitors, multi gauge sensors. There she goes. Make sure she's in park. Everything is reading. TPS, battery's a little bit low, but it's off the charger timing 50 degrees. Uh, install cycle to the TPS. Okay. Go ahead. Again, don't rev it. Check what the box inside doing again. The box, the box. Red? Okay, so I, go ahead. All three colors. What color is it giving you? All right, go again.
So, nope, sniper didn't fix the problem. It's either gonna be that dizzy or that fucking, uh, the, the fucking, uh, what you call it? The CDI box. All right, bring it back. Um, what I'm gonna do is take off the fucking the dizzy and the coil. The co uh, what you call that shit? The CDI. We notice that the CDI is getting hot inside the car. Like it's su super hot, super hot. And there's like. I think the fucking orange wire that's going to the coil is twisted at the fucking at the box. So I'm going back with the old dizzy. This is the original harness that comes with the sniper when you don't use that coil thing. The coil driver. So I'm gonna connect it. Take off the coil driver the fucking dizzy run this cable run the new uh fucking box because that's gonna go no matter what that's gonna go because now it's we've been messing with it off camera and it stays a little bit longer but it's the cdi box i know it's the fucking cdi box because we've been testing it with the power pro uh ignition it's constant 12 Power stays constant 12, ground stays constant. The other two is the fucking orange one, the white one, and it's like a twisted uh, black color. Twisted uh, black and orange. Those are iffy. Because if I connect the power probe to the twisted one with the orange one, it fucking triggers the power probe to shut off and back on. So it's something fishy in there. And then the orange one, it doesn't throw... 12 volts at the coil it throws like a one point something at the coil so i don't know if that's something wrong it has to, i don't know if it has to be 12 volts or not but for me that's something else fishy and the dizzy the is the white one that goes to the dizzy the the, the rpm signal to it that one stays constant uh whatever number is in it stays constant that one doesn't have change so it's just the the one that's for the fucking uh coil. Those two colors. Once I take it off, I show you the two colors that I'm talking about. But meanwhile, let's get this one ready. We're gonna slap it in. The shit is I gotta bring back to top dead center. But meanwhile, it's cooling down the engine. Uh then we're gonna do this last. Meanwhile, I'll do the fucking harness first. And I have to tap into the to the ignition because I removed all the ignition. So I went back to his old wiring and look at the Mickey Mouse. See that Mickey Mouse? To the other Mickey Mouse. Uh, so I'm gonna fix this one. Cause uh, this red one is actually going to ignition like that uh, uh, pink wire. And this one is actually going to this. It's gonna go to this yellow one right here. That tells you the signal. It gives it the RPM signal to the to the fucking sniper. Let it know. Let it lets it know that it's on. So that was never bad. It might be bad. I don't know. It probably wasn't. But I don't know now. Cause uh, this one runs a little bit better, and it stays on longer. But the coil is still shutting down. That one from the beginning it was giving me problems like the fuel stuff all the other extra stuff that we had to do to it so i still don't know i think that was something wrong with that one so we're gonna keep this one return that one and let's move on to that and let's see what holly wants to do about the fucking that shit until fucking monday because they already close they already closed see that's the bullshit I'm gonna see if I can get in contact with the owner and see what Summit wants to do. Like that we can return the whole system. 
and get a whole new system. But the thing is, they're going to try to contact fucking Holly, but Holly is closed. But let's say, uh, but like we already have a history with Holly. We're going to see what they want to do about it today. And if I get and get it next day or tomorrow, it can get installed fucking Sunday, but I doubt it. I'll bring it back. All right, are you bringing it back in? That's the fucking uh, CDI box from Sniper. Sniper from Holly, the Holly Sniper box. Let me get a chair so I can show you guys. Okay. See this coil wire right here? This coil, this orange goes to the coil. But you see how twisted it is? It's twisted up. And I didn't twist it. It was twisted. Those uh, pinch right there, that's with me with the Power Pro. You see, it's me pinching all those. But that orange one was like that. And this whole box gets so hot. I was trying to get uh, the temperature gun, but Danny lost it. You see this orange wire is the one for the coil. And this orange and uh, whatever color is this orange and brown color right here. It's, this, it's the ground for the coil wire. You can see over here, here we bring it in and bring those colors. God damn, super tight. And there goes the wire, see? So I have to talk to Holly on Monday. See what they're going to do about that box. And that wiring comes with that box. So it might have been a return and I didn't see it. They probably was having the same fucking issue. But I didn't see it. Uh, or it might be just, you know, a dud from factory. I just didn't see that fucking wire. Because everything I was checking was from the relays out. From where, from here out because this was uh was on the bulkhead connector not bulkhead connector but the bulkhead of the car everything else was inside the car so i never you know went inside the car until we installed the new sniper head unit and it was not the sniper head unit it was the fucking cdi box but this shows you that if you don't fucking take your time to diagnose the problem Step by step, you're never going to find it if you give up. Say we even had to get Summit involved with us for us to get a new system to find out that this motherfucker is the problem. But issue is solved. Go ahead, Danny. Start the motherfucker. Because I took that off. I put the original Dizzy that came with the car. You see, everything is a mess again. This shit is all loose. Everything is loose because I still don't know what Summit and Holly is going to do about the Dizzy and the thing. So everything is just, you see, I tapped into the ignition wire over there. My fucking fat finger is on the way. Um, this w wire is the new coil wire for the going to the sniper that's telling it the RPN signal. Everything is just loose and hanging you can see shit hanging right there it's just out of the way for us just to do with everything i gotta get this one going into the fucking power uh the fucking 12 volt key because the original brown wire didn't work it was not giving it enough uh voltage for the alternator to start charging so we just looped it around for right now so i gotta fix that i gotta see what they're gonna do about it the dizzy and the coil box if not, I'm going to see if we get an MSD, the 6L, 6AL, that's tunable. But the thing is, the Holly doesn't read with the MSD. The Holly reads that, and it changed the timing on the fly. It changed the timing with the head unit. That's why I went with the box. But it was the first time using that box. Uh, a fucking uh, murderous car has a sniper unit. No problems. That motherfucker did good in the dyno. No problems. But 
uh, murders is a sniper with an MSD box on an LS53. And that motherfucker did beautiful numbers for what, what it is. And never had an issue with it. I took that system off and on and on and on and off because he was doing other stuff to the engine and stuff like that. But right now, the, the fucking the Dizzy doesn't have vacuum advance. Like, I don't want to add it because in case it doesn't, we don't keep that one. And if we're going to keep it, it's a cheap, that's a cheap uh, Dizzy. So we're just going to swap it out for a good one. But we still don't know until that motherfucker tell us, throw me the box. The, no, not that box, that box. Okay. No, we don't need it. Uh, just key on for right now. Not all the way on, just on. Until this one starts reading. More? Right there. You can hear the fans. Now they're working. Okay. Hold on. Let me zoom in. Uh, and start. <laughs> that noise is the Dakota. It's reading low oil pressure. Everything is reading. Everything except the timing. That's the only thing. The, the thing is, uh, press that button in the bottom, Danny. All the way, all the way in the bottom. Oh, there it goes. It went away. Okay. The timing is not going to retard or advance. That's the problem. That's why I went with the, the, the Holly system so it can advance in everything. Uh, other than that, the map. Uh, Where's the IAC? IAC is right here. Everything's reading good. You see, like it's around 850 to 900. I set it up at 850. It's beautiful. Uh, it's actually in learning mode now. It, the other one would never go into learning mode. You see, now it's learning. Closed loop. Now this car needs to go out for a drive. You see, both fans are on. Everything's working on it. Look at the air for how it jumps. But again, that's what the timing issue. Because I just put a bar raw, uh, you know, a, a ballpark number on it. But it's going under low oil pressure. I don't know if it doesn't have oil or if it's too thin or if it's too thick. So, problem is fixed. No, not fixed because it's temporary fixed. But at least we solved the problem. The fucking problem is that stupid box. Fucking piece, piece of shit. And I was thinking it was a sniper all of this time, all this time. And it was a stupid box. And Taco told me too. He said the problem, the problem might be the box. But, you know, I wanted to give it a benefit of a doubt because I that's the PCM. This is not no PCM, but that's just, it's just that fucking box is like a big ass relay for the coil. So we're not going to end. The, yeah, we're going to end the video here. Danny's going to clean up while I go inside and take a break. Oh, and Danny wants food. Uh, I just got to finish the Dakota on that side, but we still got to see what this guy is going to do. And the motherfucker don't answer my phone call. Oh, and you see in that shit, it's because we trimmed the trees. Now you can see daylight over there. We trimmed tr trees. That tree, the avocado tree, was on the power line of the neighbors. And with the storm that came in, but it was not really a storm. I was afraid that the arm was going to fall on the fucking... It had pressure, but at the same time, there was no wind or storm. It was just drizzles. So, but I don't want it for the next storm or wind storm or whatever storm that the arm, you know, fully collapsed and takes out its power because I will be responsible for that shit. And those trees are not even mine. They're fucking my pop's shit. So, we're going to end the video here. Say bye, Danny. Bye.